G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and uh, recently I did a video on the easiest way to put the western saddle on a horse. I did it actually with a 17-1 and illusion. And I used him because I wanted to show you how easy it is to get put the saddle on a horse no matter how tall they are. Anyway, this is uh, my wife's horse Albert. I'm sure you've all seen a few clips of him before. So I'm going to use him today to show you a little bit about um, some more tack tips. This is about doing the, the cinch up or the girth up. Um, so it's done up right now. I'm just going to undo it and um, I'll show you once it's undone how I like to store it for next time and then I'll show you how I do it up. So how I like to do it up is, or undo it sorry, and store it is I like to take this, put it through from the back between the D and the saddle and pull it through and let it sit like that. You know we ride a lot of horses here so every time a saddle comes off a horse it goes back on another one in the next 10 minutes after that one's put away so I want to make sure I don't do a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to undo. Basically that's how it lives. When I go to put it on the next one, I just reach under here and all I do is grab the end of this latigo, this is called a latigo, I grab the end of this, I put it in there, pull it down like that and then you start doing it up from there. Okay. There's several other ways people do it that aren't as helpful. Um, you saw I went from the back through to the front like that. If you take it from the front through to the back it's very very similar except it doesn't work near as well. So if I put it through that way, when I go to do the next one up, if I take this and pull it down, oops, don't drop that, take this and pull it down through there, right here it gets stuck, it gets stuck in between there and I pull, it gets stuck. Okay, the reason it gets stuck is because this leather here gets stuck in between the, the D and the, the saddle itself, whereas if you go through from the other side, from the back side forward like that, it doesn't get stuck. And like I said, you just take it and pull it straight down like that. Okay, you know, there's other ways people do it. They take it from here and put it up there. Okay, and then when it's done it does that, you gotta take it down from there and then you gotta to try to do the whole thing up. I think it's just, for me, it's just personally easier to do it like that. Okay, a lot of times, you know, a horse might pee in the, in the cross ties or something or other. And if, you know, if it's done up like this, you go to undo it a lot of times it ends up down there and then the horse pig gets on here and then the horse pig gets on the hands and when you go to eat your lunch it doesn't taste very good all that sort of stuff so anyway so it's like it's like that okay you just reach under here take that one pull it down there and I like to go around here twice so that's once and you go around twice and how you do this you know I like to do this to girth or cinch up quite smoothly so what I don't like to do is pull up here in jerky motions like that you know that's almost like you see the old cowboys in the cowboy movies where they you know they put their foot on the horse's side and pull like that what you can do to make this nice and smooth is use two hands and pull up on this one and down on this one. This one pulls, this one actually tightens it up. And I put some slack in this one here. If you just pull down on that one right there, it's nice and smooth. So you just pull up, that one goes down, and you can go in there. Okay? It's a whole lot easier on your horse than just, than just jerking it up there like that. Um, anyway, so that's how I go about doing that girth up. Um, you know, you want to make sure that if you, when you do the girth up, you don't just do it up as tight as you can get it and then hop on and ride off. You know, usually when I saddle them up inside, I like to get it, you know, reasonably snug, like probably, I'd probably pull it up like there where the saddle's not going to fall off. And I'll do that up, then I'll walk outside and before I get on them, I will snug it up a little bit more. And then another tip is always, after you've tightened the girth up, always walk your horse forward before you get on again. Because if a horse is going to do anything like flip over or something like that, they will do it. If they're going to do it from, you know, from being the girth being too tight or something, they'll do it when they go to untrack. So if you tighten that up and go, oh, he's standing here nice and quiet, and you get on and go to walk off, something silly might happen right then. So that walking off right then after you do that um, will alleviate that. So anyway, there's some, just some tips on um, doing up that girth. Hope that helps. We'll see you guys next time.